Hey guys, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. And before we get rolling with this video, I just want to real quick cover the four firearms safety rules beforehand. I just feel compelled to do that because this is an uh, intro video. And in an intro video, it's for people who are, of course, new to guns. And so you may or may not know the four firearms safety rules. This deserves its own video, which I will do at some point. But for right now, just so we're all on the same page, I want to give the four firearms safety rules. The first firearm safety rule is treat all guns as if they're loaded, or all guns are always loaded. Which means we're never going to do anything with a unloaded gun that we wouldn't do with a loaded gun. So the word should never, never come out of your mouth. It's okay, Dylan. It's not loaded. Uh, you shouldn't say that, okay? That means we're not going to point the gun at ourselves. We're not going to point at someone else. We're just going to treat that gun like it's loaded all the time. If we all just did that, no firearms accidents would ever happen. The next three rules are derivations or an explanation of, I guess, the first firearm safety rule. So the first firearm safety rule, treat all guns as if they're loaded or all guns are always loaded. The second firearm safety rule is... Never point your gun at anything you're not willing to destroy. Which means I'm not going to point the gun at you, I'm not going to point it at myself, I'm not going to point the gun at anything that I am not willing to destroy. Uh, I always picture that there is a laser coming out of the end of that muzzle, and I don't want to laser anything that I'm not willing to destroy. So I want to be very careful where I point this muzzle. That's particularly important on handguns because it's such a short muzzle, and the slightest turn of your wrist can sweep large swaths of area with that pistol. We want to be very careful where we point that. Uh, the third rule is keep your finger straight and off the trigger. This is where your finger goes on all guns. Pistol, rifle, shotgun, doesn't matter. This is where it goes. It does not go here. Right? We don't rest our finger there. We rest our finger here outside of the trigger guard. We want to keep our finger straight and off the trigger until we're ready to fire. The fourth rule is be sure of your target, its foreground and its background, so that if you pull your gun out to save your life, uh, you want to know what's between you and the bad guy and what's beyond the bad guy. So it's important to know where else could your bullet go in the event that it doesn't go where you want it to. So those are the four firearm safety rules. That's very quick. Like I said, that deserves its own video, which we'll do at some point. However, that is your intro. So as you watch these videos about firearms and, and handling firearms, I want you to keep those four rules in mind all the time, and we're never going to break those. Thanks a lot. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, Dylan Schumacher with Citadel Defense, and today we're going to talk about handguns. Uh, this is part one of a video, so basically this is how the handgun works. That's what this video is. Uh, you just bought a handgun, what are these buttons and switches, and, and how does this gun actually work? So this is not a video on how to operate the handgun, that'll be part two. This is simply a video on what the gun is and, and how the gun actually functions. So the first thing we're gonna do uh, with any gun that we ever pick up is make sure it's unloaded. This gun is loaded, so we're gonna make sure to unload it since we're gonna demonstrate it. And at this time, we don't want it to be loaded. So we'll talk about this in a minute, but we're gonna eject the magazine. We're gonna rack the slide and we're gonna make sure that it's fully unloaded. We're gonna lock the slide to the rear. Again, we'll talk about that. We're gonna visually and digitally inspect the chamber to make sure that there is not a bullet in there. You might be able to see that, but I can see it and I assure you it is empty. Okay, <clears throat> now that we have an unloaded gun, we'll treat it just like a loaded gun. So, uh, on this particular gun, this is a Glock 19 for those of you who are interested or would like to know what kind of gun it is. Couple things to note. Uh, most modern striker fire guns are pretty simple. There's not a lot to them anymore. Uh, really, there's just a magazine release right here. That's this button that releases the magazine. So if a magazine were in the gun and you needed to remove that, you depress the magazine release, the magazine comes out. Uh, there's the trigger, obviously. <laughs> that sends bullets where you need them to go. Uh, and then there is the slide catch, slide release, whatever you want to call it, this little button right here. I push up on that, up towards the top to lock the slide to the rear, and when I depress it, then the slide goes forward. Okay. Uh, on this particular gun, it is not ambidextrous. Sometimes they'll be ambi and they'll have a slide release on both sides of the gun. This right here is the takedown lever. So the way that works is Again, with a Glock and most striker guns, make sure the gun's unloaded. There's usually some kind of takedown lever right here. Okay, so make sure that's unloaded. You can 
pull the slide back slightly, and then what I'm doing is I am pulling this down, pulling it down towards the frame of the pistol, releasing, pulling the trigger, and the slide is gonna come right off the gun, okay? To field strip most modern guns, you're gonna get three pieces. You're gonna get a spring, a barrel, a slide, and then the frame. I guess you have four pieces, all said and done. And that's it, that's field stripping a gun. That's how we clean it, that's how we break it down. Uh, unless you're fixing some major problem or you're some kind of armor, you're never gonna need to break your gun down further than this. Uh, that's really all there is to it. Again, most modern guns are extremely simple. In order to reassemble it, of course, we just put the pieces back where we found them. There are four rails on the pistol, you'll see right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna line that slide up on those rails. Then we're gonna gently pull it all the way back. Give it a function check. And the gun works. A couple other things to note. On some pistols, you can have a removable back strap. So this piece right here can be removed and replaced with a different piece if you like a thicker or smaller back strap. That's just a personal preference thing. And again, most modern guns are gonna fall into that category. For this particular gun, I have replaced the sights. That's always an option to do with most of your guns. And then I have a light on this gun that did not come with it, uh, in case that's not obvious. On all guns, on all guns, it's going to have stamped the caliber on the weapon. You want to make sure that the bullets you put in it match the caliber stamped on the gun. Uh, make sure that the caliber stamped on the gun matches the caliber stamped on the casing of the bullet, matches the caliber stamped on the box. If all of those three things match, you're going to be safe and you're not going to accidentally load the wrong bullets in your gun, which nine times out of 10, they won't fit anyway. But if you were to fit the wrong round in there, you could potentially have a problem. Some other things to note, your handgun may or may not have a safety. Usually that's located right around here in this area. For example, here is a Ruger SR-22, and this particular pistol has a safety, which is located right here. Now this one's a little weird because up is fire and down is safe. Most modern guns, up is gonna be safe and down is gonna be fire. But if you do have a safety in your particular gun, this is where it is located. If you decided to take a travel back in time and decide to purchase a revolver, things are even simpler. Uh, really, there's one button that's right here on the side. It'll be some kind of lever. Either you push down or push into the gun or something, and that will release the cylinder. The cylinder, of course, is where you put bullets in the gun. You close the cylinder and you're good to go. Revolvers don't have safeties or anything like that. You may have an exposed hammer here that you can cock if you like. Uh, don't do that. That's on American and uh, revolvers are meant to be fired in double action. Revolvers do have an ejector as well. This is going to eject any spent casings once they've been fired. Other than that, revolvers are super simple. There's no buttons or switches or slide releases or magazine releases or anything. Uh, trigger and somewhere to open the cylinder. Well, that's it. There's really not that much to modern pistols. They're pretty simple. You put a box of bullets in, you charge it, and you keep it going. One thing I do want to talk about is running the slide. That's something that you do on a semi-automatic pistol a fair amount. All that means is we're going to place our hand overhand on the weapon. We're going to pull the slide back and release. When I say charge the weapon or run the slide, that's what we're talking about. Like I said, modern guns are extremely simple. We're going to put boxes of bullets in the bottom of the gun. We're going to run the slide and the weapon is ready to go. There's really not that much to them anymore, thankfully. I will make part two to follow this video, which will discuss how to hold the gun and some basic, real easy dry fire you can get in on your weapon right when you get it. Do brave deeds and endure.